All right, folks, have we got a deal for you. We have an economical chart plotter that gives you math. And to go along with that, it doesn't have a touch screen and it won't communicate with any of your existing units. But for a limited time, you can purchase a UHD transducer to make this a real UHD unit. So run out and get the new Garmin UHD2 available in a seven inch. And don't forget, it doesn't have a touch screen or communicate with other units. All right, so after a long awaited revision, we've revamped the Garmin UHD2 chart plotter. Introducing the UHD2 six, seven, and nine inch chart plotters that now include a real touch screen and they have communication capabilities of Wi-Fi and ethernet so they'll communicate with your existing units and as an added bonus, you get a real UHD transducer, either a GT54 or a GT56, depending on the model that you purchase. So go down and get your new UHD2 today. <laughs> All right, well, I couldn't help but poke a little bit of fun at Garmin after only seven months coming out with the new revised UHD2. I actually came out with a video that had a pretty poor review of the UHD2, not really a review, but a comparison between the UHD and the UHD2. And I actually pulled it down off the web because of a comment by one of our subscribers who let me know that, hey, they had revised this thing. Well, I got the message on about January 20th of 23. They came out with a news release on January 11th. So I couldn't get the most latest information out of their technicians because they had just been through training and I don't think had done simulations or anything like that yet. So some of the information I give you here will be vague because I couldn't get all of my questions answered when I called Garmin about it. So I think the biggest difference between the original UHD and this unit is the advancement in the Wi-Fi technology and the Wi-Fi network that you can set up. This new UHD2 will talk to a Garmin Force trolling motor. It'll talk to, I'm assuming, their smartwatches and things like that. And I think that's gonna be the future for this Echo Map line and probably many of the other lines is this Wi-Fi technology. Now, the new unit does have an ethernet port now, just like the, uh, the original UHDs where you can connect an ethernet in between the units and establish a network with you know, full connectivity where you can share transducers and things like that. And other upgrades include, it comes bundled now with a GT54 or a GT56 transducer depending on the size. The nine inch comes with a GT56 where the seven and six inch come with a GT54. And then the five inch unit is actually kind of the basic original UHD2. But so that's why we're talking mainly about the six, seven and nine inch units. It also comes with a snapping cradle, which is very nice, uh, just like the UHDs where you don't have to plug and unplug your cables every time. And it comes with high resolution display, which is an upgrade also. And the software now supports things like auto guidance. A little more technology has been thrown into it. Now, one of the things that I couldn't verify was if just a Wi-Fi network without the ethernet will allow you to share your transducers and some of the other things that we do currently with the UHD units. But they did say that with the ethernet port that you have the same network set up that you have with the original UHDs now. So one thing that could be a good thing or could be a bad thing is there are still the original UHD units out on the market. I noticed on Bass Pro Shops that they had some discounted units that still had the GT20 unit, which I assume is the original unit that came out in May of 2022. So if you're looking for an economical unit with not as many features and, and capabilities, there's still some out there. So that could be a good thing for you. But if you go out and buy the UHD2 off of Bass Pro that has the GT20 unit on it, 
a lot of these features that I'm talking about right now are not going to be available on that unit. So I went ahead and made up a spreadsheet of some of the differences between the UHD-2 and the UHD and also the differences in the sizes of the screen and where they come in. So the first thing you'll notice is the maps on the UHD-2 say they're Garmin Navionics Plus. And of course the UHD units, they come with either Lakeview or blue chart in the G3. And so depending on what, you know, how you order your unit, that's how they would come. And I noticed pretty much the same thing with the UHD too. So I brought that up to the technician and I'm gonna tell you guys, I really didn't get a good feel for if you're gonna get the, uh, you know, the Lake View or whether you're gonna get the Navionics Plus and you have to select which region that you wanna be in. So that I do not know. And if anyone out there does know, please go ahead and post something in the comments and I'll pin it to the top so everybody can see it. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this spreadsheet. So the nine inch, the cost is identical between the two units. Now, when you go down to the seven inch unit on the cost, I'm not really sure what's going on there because on the old UHD units, you get a GT56 at $899, and with a new UHD2, the price is actually higher and it has a GT54 transducer. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Now here's where it gets interesting. When you drop down to the six inch screen, the UHD2 is actually considerably more expensive, but it also comes with clear view and side view, which the UHD unit does not, it just has a traditional and clear view. Now also notice on the six inch unit that that's where you go to a key assist on the original UHDs and the six inch in the UHD two now has a touch screen, which is definitely in my opinion, that is an advancement. I really like a touch screen, but some people still like the buttons and that's fine. Now, when you go down to the five inch UHD two versus the six inch, UHD, which we were just comparing, that's where the UHD2 is not bundled with the UHD transducer. Now you can buy it separately, but when you start going to do that, you need to take a look at the cost and make sure you just don't wanna stick with one of the, uh, the older UHDs. All right, so that's just a kind of a quick breakdown on the information that's available at this time on the UHD2. So I think it's a great improvement, Garmin. Thank you very much. And until next time, keep calm and hook them and watch this video next.